Spoiler warning for Spider-Man No Way Home, if you have not yet seen this movie, you need to go check it out. But this film, of course, gives us two huge post credit scenes. The first of which deals with Eddie Brock's Venom, following up after the post credit scene for Venom Let There Be Carnage. I did a whole video breaking it down, so make sure to go check that out, as well as my full in-depth spoiler review and breakdown for Spider-Man No Way Home, breaking down all my favorite moments, where I think things are going to go in the future. So make sure to check out those other videos. But... Now we need to talk about the second post credit scene for Spider-Man No Way Home, which is a trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which is really interesting because, first of all, this is just something that you don't see happen very often. The last time they did, they did this, or at least last time I know of them doing this, uh, specifically Marvel, is with Captain America the First Avenger, where as an end credit scene for that movie was the first teaser trailer for the first Avengers movie. So, seems like they've done a very similar thing here for Spider-Man No Way Home, giving us the first teaser for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which I'm assuming, and at least hoping, that Marvel will you know, release this trailer online at some point soon, or at least a version of it, just because, you know, some people can't get out to the theater to see this, and also because, you know, I want to get the high-definition shots from this trailer and really be able to, like, pause it and analyze it and all that stuff, um, but even though it is probably going to be released online sometime soon, we're going to be having better quality shots, I have no idea when that's going to be, so I figured, We'll, we'll do the best we can to break down this trailer or at least teaser trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness because there's a lot going on here that I did not at all catch the first time actually watching this in, in the theater but after going through and looking at the separate shots of this teaser there's a lot going on here that we have got to talk about so uh yeah let's go and get into this ladies and gentlemen so we start off the trailer with this shot of Stephen strange you can see his reflection in this cracked watch now this is of course the watch that he wore in the first movie it played a big role there um so you can see it's come back here for the sequel which is nice to see and then we just get some great shots of benedict cumberbatch back as dr strange uh where he's now kind of having to deal with the follow and the consequences in the aftermath of spider-man no way home and the breaking of the multiverse and again these shots are kind of blurry and hard to see, but you can tell, at least in this shot a little bit, that this is his new updated MCU suit for this film, which we have seen great looks at from concept art and promo art and newly revealed action figures for this film, where it is basically his regular MCU outfit, except now with this like white logo on his chest, which is uh, something he had in the comics. So we know we're getting that more comics accurate look here, which I really enjoy seeing. And then here's another great shot here where you can see it really more prevalent where it's not even white. It's more more so just like a lighter blue there, uh, but is definitely interesting to see there. He, of course, has the eye of Agamotto, and he's just surprised to be looking at like, oh, no, the multiverse and all that stuff. And just like this whole world is just crashing apart, falling apart, and life is not going great for the Sorcerer Supreme. Or actually, as we now know after Spider-Man No Way Home, he's not the Sorcerer Supreme. That's now Wong because of uh, technicality after being blipped for five years but we get this interesting shot here of Rachel McAdams returning as Christine Palmer she was of course Steven's love interest in the first movie and we got reports that she was returning for this film in a much bigger role but as you can see she's in a wedding dress and she's getting married which you may think like all right she's getting married to Stephen Strange go Stephen but he's standing there on the sideline so he is not getting married to her, and obviously this is going to be a big problem for him, especially after seeing um, his love for her in episode 5, I think it was, of Marvel What If, and just seeing that whole storyline with Doctor Strange Supreme and Christine Palmer. So, it seems like they're kind of going to be rekindling that relationship here, or at least trying to. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. There have also been rumors that... Uh, Christine Palmer will also become the character of Clea, or at least maybe a variant of her, which I'd like to see um, at least teased or at least set up in this film. And then we get our introduction to one of the villains in this movie, which we did see actually this exact scene in a recently revealed Lego set for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness with Gargantos, who looks very similar to Shuma Gorath, another character that's been reported to be a villain in this movie. Uh, but this character is actually kind of like the underwater version of Shuma Gorath, where he's actually a Submariner villain, or Namor the Submariner villain, and as you can see, he's like this giant 
alien squid thing with like one giant eye and he's gonna be like causing all kinds of trouble we saw in that lego set that he was fighting doctor strange america chavez and wong so makes sense that that would probably be what's going on right here and you can actually see that a little bit with doctor strange using all his tricks and you know sorcery and magic and stuff so looking great right there and speaking of America Chavez, here's our first official look at Zochi Gomez joining the MCU as America Chavez, who is going to be another Nexus being in this universe, very similar to Wanda Maximoff, where she can basically punch holes through the multiverse. That's kind of her whole power, is that she can punch star-shaped holes through the multiverse. And she's going to be a big character introduced in this film. She's going to be a big character going forward in the MCU, most likely joining the Young Avengers, which we know are being set up as well. And she looks great here again you don't get a great shot of her it's just a shot from behind but this is a very comics accurate look for the character and also as i mentioned before we have recently revealed action figures revealed uh, specifically the marvel legends figures which reveal a great look at this character in the mcu and then speaking of returns to the MCU, or at least characters in the MCU with new looks, um, who was also revealed uh, with some Marvel Legends action figures, is Baron Mortal. Uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor returning to the role after the first Doctor Strange movie, and like I said, he looks very different. Now he's got dreadlocks, and uh, he looks more uh, wise and more sorcery i guess you could say and we don't really know what kind of role he's going to play in this movie like is he a villain or is he going to be an ally because the postcard scene for the first doctor strange film clearly set up him having a villainous presence in this film and especially given how in the comics he is mainly a villainous character and actually is uh, Doctor Strange's main villain besides Dormammu. Uh, but he's going to be having an interesting role in this movie because, again, you don't really get to see too much of him in this teaser. But he does definitely seem like a villainous character. But he's definitely not going to be the main villain. We're getting a lot of little villains in this movie. And we don't even know who the main villain is. A lot of people have been theorizing. And there's actually been official reports that that would be Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch. Uh, but you get these great shots here. I believe this is Mordo fighting Doctor Strange. And actually, that Marvel Legends figure of Mordo calls him Master Mordo. So maybe he's gone on to teach his own students um, in his way away from, in his time away from Kamratosh. And then you got Doctor Strange just falling through the multiverse there. And speaking of Wanda, we have Doctor Strange actually visiting Wanda in the mountains where she kind of exiled herself after the events of WandaVision. And I love how he, Doctor Strange actually directly references th those events in the scene where he says something about this isn't about Westview. And then she's like, oh, what is this about? And he says, I need your help. So this is interesting because, again... People have been saying that she's going to be the villain of the movie, and according to at least Grace Randolph, um, this shot in the teaser is a direct red herring. To basically, all of the trailers for this film are going to make it look like Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch are teaming up, but in reality, she's actually going to be the main villain of the film, which we'll be interested to see if that actually comes to fruition. We'll see if it actually does. I'd like to see it, uh, but it is definitely interesting to see if that is something that they actually hide from the marketing as well. Uh, then here's just a great shot of, again, Doctor Strange in that new comics accurate look with America Chavez behind him. Uh, here's a more zoomed out shot of that. You can't really see who that is, but there is someone else there. Looks like a female character, so maybe Christine Palmer, but then again, I don't know for sure. And you can just see the crazy, wacky multiverse-ness going on there. This is some sort of like nexus hub of the multiverse i don't even know there's so much craziness going on here wong definitely looks like not to be in the greatest condition here we know also that he's getting a more comics accurate look based off action figures uh but could he die could he die in this movie i mean given the fact that he is now officially the sorcerer supreme and you know it's supposed to be doctor strange that's the sorcerer supreme what if wong dies in this movie and then that's how doctor strange becomes the sorcerer supreme again maybe just a long shot theory that's not really based off much, but you know we'll, we'll see if it ends up happening because he doesn't—he's not looking too good right here in the scene. Uh, but uh, wow, here we have Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch, wearing a very similar outfit to what she wore at the end of WandaVision, but now um, looks like she's actually got sleeves and. Like I said, she looks very villainous in the shot. She actually looks very much like the devil, um, Mephisto confirmed. Uh, but what's 
I think is the most interesting about this is if you look at her hands, you can see her hands have black tips. Now, you could say, like, oh, she just painted her nails or whatever, but the, I don't think so because that's not what it looks like. It looks like literally the whole tip of her finger, which reminds me of WandaVision when we had Catherine Hahn's Agatha Harkness she also had that going on where the tips of her fingers turned all black when she was tapping into that darker magical energy so maybe again hinting at the fact that Wanda is going to be a villain in this movie that she's going to be tapping into that same energy and you can see like all these candles around here um she is just up to no good in this movie and you can see she she doesn't look too heroic in this shot, and I really do believe that she's going to be the villain of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, but then we get this other interesting shot of Doctor Strange with some actual scarlety red orbital, orbital magic around him, which could, of course, connect to Scarlet Witch because that's like the color of her magic. Uh, but this, this ending is the most interesting part because it's something I saw coming but also didn't at the same time. Because again, based off this trailer, they're basically doing these red herrings to make it look like, oh, Scarlet Witch is teaming up with Doctor Strange, and the real villain is actually this other character. As we can see here, Doctor Strange is in some other realm. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Seems like almost like a multiversal, twisted, dark version of the Sanctum Sanctorum, or maybe even actually looks kind of similar to the, uh, oh, what, what was it called? Like the Citadel or something like that, where Loki and Sylvie met Kang the Conqueror, or uh, the, the one... The one above all, what what was his name? I, I think that, I think that, just, you know, something like that. You know what I'm talking about, Kang from the Loki finale. It looks like a very similar place here and could possibly even be the same place. I don't know for sure. But this is where we get to meet a evil Doctor Strange. And again, this teaser kind of looks like, oh, he's going to be the, the main villain of this movie. But I don't think so. But the interesting thing about here is we have an evil Doctor Strange. Now, is this just any evil Doctor Strange? No, I believe that this is actually Doctor Strange Supreme, who of course was the character that de debuted in Marvel What If, who I mentioned earlier in this video. But, I, I mean, we knew he was going to be in this movie. I did a video reporting on this uh, months ago. But if this is the same character, I'm like super disappointed because like he looks really, really cool in animation. And... He just looks nothing like that in live action. Like, sure, you have the paler skin and you have, like, the almost, like, mascara, like, darker circles around his eyes and, like, the extended goatee. And, but, like, you don't have, like, the cool cape or, like, the colorful outfit or anything. So, hopefully, he has that in this movie. He just doesn't have it in this shot. But I'll be interested to see what kind of role this character plays in the film. So he's looking all cool there. And then, of course, you have our main Doctor Strange just being super confused here. What's interesting, though, is that his eye is, like, purple. So I don't know what that means. If you have any theories, then you can let me know down in the comments below. But, guys, that was the first official teaser trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which was the end credit scene for Spider-Man No Way Home. This looks absolutely insane. I mean, if you thought No Way Home was crazy... Wait till you see this movie, because this is a movie that we don't even know that much about. Literally, this trailer told us so much about it, but at the same time, not much at all, which is so interesting because, again, like this, this is going to be even bigger than No Way Home, and No Way Home was a masterpiece, so I'm so excited for this film. I'm so excited to see when this footage is officially re released online, if we get any other extra bits. Of course, I'll do other videos on that as well. Uh, but for now, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this first look, this first teaser trailer for Doctor Strange 2 in the Multiverse of Madness? Let me know all your thoughts, theories, and predictions in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep up to date on everything goes on in the Marvel life.